The next thing I wanted to talk about with Gravity Sketch is the creation of characters. Now, I, I want to state right away that I'm really not a character designer. Uh, there are people who do this much better than I do, but um, I did want to show what is possible and very quickly in Gravity Sketch when it comes to building uh, characters or things with, that are much more organic when you're uh, in VR. So these guys are mostly represent experiments that I've done. Um, and currently in these versions, you're seeing they're very, very smooth shaded. And this was specifically so that I could uh, use them for 3D printing. But I wanted to show you that even though these look really complex, they're they're actually constructed in a very simple way. So as an example of this guy, this elephant character, um, he's actually a bunch of pieces that have been uh, uh, sort of grouped together. So if I take him and then I press this purple key right here, boom, you'll see that he's actually made of um, lots of little parts. The advantage to that is that then these parts can be made separately and then assembled. Even his eyeballs are are separate. Um, and uh, if I take this and then I uh, choose the blue button, which is the one that lets me edit him, and then I turn off the, uh, the, um, the subdivision, you can see that he's really, really quite simple. And that's true of all his parts. Uh, if I do the same thing here with his body, and I just turn off subdivisions, you can see that, that compared to like Punch here and how smooth he is, um, all these parts are easily editable. So turn that off as well. And uh, there you go. Um, so let's see if I can undo him back to his original position. And I need to go back in to turn him into something that is uh, smooth again, do the same with his body, turn subdivisions on, and the same with his collar, um, turn the subdivisions back on, and here we have him in his, his much more shaded um, persona. Okay, now it, let's say that uh, I don't necessarily want him back to the really, really boxy version, but I want to bring him into something like SketchUp. I can do the same thing. I can take him, I can go back into edit mode. I can turn down the level of, of um, subdivision and then turn on uh, the low poly and do the same thing with the other pieces. So I'm turning this way down and turning low poly up. Same with this collar, down with this, up with low poly, same with the hands, down, up, down, up, and then finally his collar and his cravat. So collar, subdivision down, low poly up, and then his cravat. So subdivisions down, low poly up, and I will grab the whole thing and then I will group him. So now I've got this version here that is these all these guys are constructed the same way, uh, except when I bring this into SketchUp, you can see that it's much less complex. But when I turn on smoothing in SketchUp, he'll actually look pretty much like he did when he was all smooth, very much like Punch. Uh, another thing to think about too is like here on the pumpkin guy, his hand here, and I'll zoom in. Um, I just did this really quickly, but if I do the same thing and I turn off the subdivisions, you can see that what I'm working with is really, really quite blocky and simple. Uh, in Gravity Sketch, it's really easy to make this sort of, um, of you know, organic shape uh, just by extruding that cube and, so, and sectioning off the fingers and pulling them and rescaling them, just like I showed you before. But then the ability to then take turn on subdivisions. And if I wanted, once again, to have this be something that was in SketchUp, I could turn down the subdivision level, turn up the, uh, the low poly, 
And then I still have something that's basically like the hand that I had before, but um, it's something that would go into a program like SketchUp without being too much of a problem. So let me go back to his smooth version, turn off the low poly, and then I can bring this back and I could stick it back on the pumpkin guy. Same with the pumpkin guy. If I grab him, if I break up the the um, the grouping, I'm going to just copy his head so you can see what he looks like. So that feels really smooth, something that would print really well. But if again, if I turn off the subdivisions, you can see uh, he's he's really quite simple compared to uh, what his head looks like when it's all subdivided. And so I'm hoping that when you look at this, you can see this is something that's very achievable. And uh, one can probably build something like him within like 45 minutes or an hour of lots of little bits of fine tuning, and yet have an end result that is much smoother and ready to be 3D printed, just like the rest of these guys. So that's just sort of a real quick look at what you can do with uh, the modeling tools, especially subdivision, to take cubes and turn them into something much more organic and potentially uh, 3D printable or something that can be placed inside your SketchUp model. So I suggest give it a try and uh, see what you think.